Welcome to the Gotham Sound Expo 2025. We are here at the Technic booth with Lucas, who I've known for like seven years, sir. Put it there. It's finally a pleasure yep. to actually meet you Absolutely. face to face. Uh, as um, Powerline would say, eye to eye, if you get that reference. But it's a goofy movie thing. <laughs> anyway, tell us all about <laughs> fiber and like where this is going at, why we need fiber, our use cases, like how we can implement this stuff. Because um, a lot of people are still kind of in the, the copper world using regular RF cables, using Ethercon cables. And uh, tell us why fiber is sh something that we should be considering now. You got it. Yeah, fiber is becoming more and more prevalent these days uh, because it's lighter weight, it's higher bandwidth, um, and it's very reliable. There's a lot of people that are concerned about it not working, it becoming dirty, uh, being unreliable, things like that. Really not serious concerns as long as you're following basic maintenance uh, protocols and stuff like that. Um, it'll save you so much weight and so much time to deploy and you can do so much more with it than you could do with a copper cable. Distance is the biggest driver uh, for people investing in it, I've noticed. You can't send SDI three more than 300 feet. Same with Ethernet mm -hmm. over a CAT cable, yep. but this can go miles. Um, and uh, my understanding is that's what Gotham has been helping its customers do through WYSICOM, right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, we've been partnering with WYSICOM on some of their release products for their fiber boxes. Uh, there's a couple other manufacturers as well that have fiber boxes, uh, BSRF. Um, so yeah, we've definitely been pushing the utilization of those products so that people can start implementing these for their own, you know, their sound card or even if they have a sound bag and they want to, you know, try to incorporate that into their workflow. So. Um, Break, break us down a little bit here on like what we've got in front of us first sure. of all and then just like tell it to us like i'm six <laughs> you know sure. the basics of fiber uh, but also there will be a full breakout fiber session with lucas uh a, a later on today so you can click a video here and that'll be available so without any further ado please yeah. Like I'm six, though. Okay, what do we got here? So this is a tactical fiber reel. There okay. are four strands of fiber on it. Um, I say tactical because this black jacket is very, very durable. It can be run over by vehicles. It's crush proof. Um, it's got great tensile and pulling strength. And uh, yeah, it's not something you need to be afraid of. It, it's not going anywhere. Um, like I said, there's four channels on it, so four fibers. Uh, here are some of them. This particular reel is an ST reel. This is an ST connector. This is a physical contact connector. The fiber tip is inside of this ferrule right there. Um, and it's exposed. That's important to know. It's good, but that's important to know. That's why they come with dust caps. Uh, you should always put the dust cap back on it when you're done using it. And you should also clean it afterwards as well. But mm -hmm. as long as you're doing that with regularity, uh, there's nothing to worry about here with using these. You might see these in the field with uh, a protective sleeve for pulling. Good reason for that. But again, it's really just to protect the, uh, the, the very tip of the connector. So what happens if the end of my fiber run is dirty? There will be signal loss. Um, you might get light through. You might check it with a light and see that light's coming through, but you might not get a workable signal. Tell us how this functions and, and to avoid that. Sure. This is a, a fiber optic testing suite by the Fiber Guy. It's called the Heliac. It's three products in one, basically. There's a scope that we're looking at here, um, and there's a power meter, a laser, and a reader here that'll read the return loss of the assembly that's plugged into either end of it. But it's great for just vetting out what you've got before you send it out on a job. As we can see here, this is a clean contact. We don't see any dirt or adhesions on it. We can quickly change that with my dirty little fingers. Looking at it again, look at that. Use I wouldn't use hand that. sanitizer. <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> hand sandy, folks. Yep. <laughs> this is our cleaner tool, so you should. Yeah, be this is our one click this. cleaner. Um, they're very easy to use. They're extremely reliable. This will take care of what I just did. It'll be like it never happened. You just stick the end into it. Click. It's going to look great now. Look at that. The show must go on. The show must <laughs> go on. I was thinking, it's magic, don't you know? <laughs> anyway, so first things first is clean up after yourself, <laughs> basically. So like I'm six, this is perfect. Yeah. Um, and get tested you know, regularly. Get tested <laughs> regularly. Yeah, excellent. So there's a theme here. I love this. Um, 
And then adapters, um, at what point do the various nomenclatures of acronyms that we won't name come The onslaught of acronyms. Here comes some of it. Uh, so yeah, this is an ST reel. These connectors, they look kind of like BNCs. They're called STs. Right. This is pretty common on TAC reels. You won't see many others that often, although there are others. Not every type of equipment is going to take an ST connector. That's where you'd most likely land into a patch bay like this and then adapt that with a cable such as this, STs to, in this case, SC, APC. Um, this is what the WYSICOM product uses, actually. This would plug into the rear of the patch panel, and your equipment can live in the rack or fly pack or wherever it is. That's how it works. Um, there are plenty more acronyms than that, and I'm going to try to avoid using them. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, but we can talk about bigger, chunkier, more fun things, too, such yeah. as Neutrik Optical Con. Yeah, there we go. Um, if we're talking about field use, uh, in the production space, particularly the event space, but um, even in on film sets, I think Gotham made a video, right? Mm -hmm. The uh, yeah. walking down the street with uh, the fiber yeah. one. Uh, that, that was him, uh, Nate behind the camera. That is, um, yep. I've done one in Atlanta. Okay. Maybe 350 feet, 400 feet around the corner of a building. It was, it was, it was very impressive, honestly. Yeah. Um, but I will say, I know for me personally, just my use case. I think I had a reel like this, and it was a little overwhelming. But there's like, you take this off, and yeah, this, yeah. So to take it off, make this look nice. Yeah. So <laughs> this is great. It's tech proof. <laughs> you can't really break it. Uh, if you pull this little thing down where there's an up and down arrow. Okay, so there's an indicator. Read the instructions, folks. Another yeah. theme here. So um, I'm still not doing that well. but No, all that to it's say. not a very satisfying pull, but just pull it down, and then you can pull the dust cap off. See. IP rated to the fullest extent with the cap on, not so much with it off. And then it mates with an optical con chassis connector, which is a shuttered connector. There are shutters in place stopping dirt from getting into it unless it's mated with this very connector. So it's a great system. It's rock solid. You'll see it in rental houses everywhere. Um, and uh, yeah, these there are LC connectors inside of this, but it's really just a really nice, chunky, Neutrik, made in Liechtenstein housing that uh, goes around it. Love it. Love yeah. it. So then let's say we're in a world where I just don't have a rack spacing to check my cable fibering, make sure it's clean. What what am I left you know device wise to to do to ensure that my cables are going to be clean for my fiber? Sure. Uh, um, how would I do that? You would do that with this. Uh, Camplex makes or sells a um, a fiber cleaning kit here. This has everything you would need to clean and uh, view the end faces of your fiber, just like you can do on this, for a lot less money. It's portable. It's in a case. Um, it comes with one click cleaners, just like this. <laughs> Wipes a cassette. And um, even an end face scope. And then this, we were kind of playing around with this earlier, but we this, this feels very much like getting a, an eye exam. <laughs> but, it does. Um, so the same concept, though. You, you shine light through it. You connect the, the fiber to the bottom here. You hit the indicator button up top, and then you're able to see if it's clean or if it's dirty. The very end face of the fiber, yep. It's portable. I just learned this, this today, folks. It could be you. <laughs> this could be your setup. You, you know, Give us a call. This could be you. Um, so what else are we are we missing here? I see some of these Sescom fiber boxes. Those are cool. Those are our uh, FA2s, they're called. That is two channels of line level or mic level audio over a single strand of fiber. Send and receive will go miles. They're very low noise. You'll, they're in stadiums. Uh, they're hooked up to PA systems. Uh, if you need a, a master pair very far away, that's how you would do it. It's battery powered in case you need to do on location stuff as well. Um, but they can be powered locally too. Um, Love yeah, that. those are great. Sescom is, is an audio brand, but obviously we know a bit about fiber, so that's involved with this one too. We also just have some, some cable assemblies, 20-amp uh, drop and uh, a Cat6A tactical Ethernet over there. Excellent. So, and then just so everyone knows a little bit more um, about Technic, they, they don't just deal in this fiber role that we're, we're talking about here. Um, they, they have a great many things that they distribute. Um, so if you were going to give that spiel and you know, how, how would that look in terms of what we can get from you and what the services that you guys product-wise are offering? Sure. Yeah, I mean, through Gotham. Uh, Gotham has access to over 600 product lines. Uh, the TechNet carries a lot of video distribution equipment, honestly. Uh, Blackmagic, AJA, um, things like that. More broadcast-oriented product. But um, we carry a lot of different things. Pelican cases, SKB cases, you name it. Um, we're one day away from Gotham, and we ship stuff to them all the time, and we like to do it. So just nice. give them a call, 
And uh, you can check out our line card online as well if you need to. Yeah. So if your needs aren't specified to what we've discussed here today, give us a call and we'll tailor that down, figure out what your needs are, and then we'll get the product in your hand that you need so you have a kit that works for you. Um, so I think that's all my, my um, you know, my, my bar is for today on fiber. I'm going to do the class later on, but um, if you want more information, make sure you check out that link. If you have questions, make sure you put them in the chat. We'll get back to you as soon as possible. But we want to thank you for watching. This is uh, more videos available at www.gothamsound.tv. Lucas, I appreciate you, man. Sounds good. Take thank care. You. We'll see you guys soon. Thanks.